And I think we are live. Let me refresh this thing and make sure you can hear us, make sure you can see us. Nothing yet. YouTube a little slow. Still nothing. Refresh again. And nothing. Okay. There we go. We're we're Two good. bucks from Patrick oh, already. There we go. That's yeah, super so chat. Started. Everyone bumped up to be here. It's getting this thing started. And we're back to our Wednesday live shows. I know we had live shows Monday and Sunday and all the other days, but uh, we're trying to get back to you know our in-store action. We'll get those videos and then our Wednesday videos, which now we have so much other things to cover uh, because we're putting everything all at one. So first, let me see who's here. We have a lot of things to talk about. First one is uh rico smooth what's up shoot to kill phoenix jimmy jay's closet johnny who says brass lines are crazy today they opened in california we're gonna talk about that uh let's see austin dapper fanatic hustle and silence smooth selling still kicking sports Neezy, curtis victor intramorph tyler extra grand zapatos sneaker finds 12 Keep going down, big one, Dapper Fanatic, and uh, Cheerios, Christian Lopez, Extra Grands, Maximo, El Gronk, and Ice Pack. And more people coming in, AC236, and Hustle Crow, Rock the Kick, Stone Builder, Ricardo, um, Javier also here, Swoopman1972, 89 Romeo, and more people coming in. All right. Oh, and Ross Shallington and Asian Newbie. Okay, get this thing on here. And this is what we're starting off with. We are going to get into stores. But we're starting off with Chunky Dunky. Starting now, with any- L. <laughs> Anybody in the chat? Man. Somehow, some way. Were yeah, able to I, get I don't know anybody that knows anybody that hit Chunky Dunky. <laughs> I don't know anybody that knows anybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, took a big L, huge L, no chunkies for me, big L, giant L, fat L. I feel Man. like after all the resellers took an L. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Let me see. Anybody that says a W, they're lying <laughs> from Enrique. Uh, let's see. Ugly, big L, uh, big fat chunky L, super L. Man, I was, memories. I was actually uh, just got back from the grocery and I was looking for Chunky Dunks cookies or something like that. Well, I mean, Ben and Jerry's cookies. <laughs> Man, nothing. So, and I didn't want to buy the ice cream yet because I think I'm still that salty. Yeah, it was it was that bad. So depressed. I'm eating Chunky Monkey ice cream fast, Eddie. Oh, but yeah, everyone taking the L. And especially the. Uh, the, I don't know what it was, but maybe it was for friends and family, but the special box. Woo-wee. Uh, yeah, special box is dope. Friends and family Very one. Good. So right now we're looking at this one. I did take a photo of, I believe, like late yesterday. Size 9, 18, 1900. Most of them going for about 1900. At one point, I think size 9 yesterday was at like 21 was the lowest ask. I think today, right now, when I look, they were going down to like 17. Still, we know super high. Now, do you think these will eventually go up to like 3K? Man, considering that none of this, <laughs> none of these <laughs> clowns got them. <laughs> <laughs> I um, mean, I don't, I think I could see it go to like 3K. I don't know. I could, I could, well, here's, here's what I would say. Um, I don't know where the Travis Scott dunks are, but I think it will not go over beyond that. Okay, that's that's his prediction from the B. Right. Uh, Mr. Sports LA, yes, they will go up. Let's see, yep. Laugh out loud. Let me see. 3K is a bit steep. By the end of the year, I could see it from Jay's closet. Uh, ben & Jerry's t-shirt went up 10 times in value, so that's a win. Baker brand. Zapato says 4,100, he believes. Um, oh, wow. Check it, Lynn. Uh, the Travis Gus, Travis got dunks right now. Or a, a nine is thirteen hundred is the lowest ask. Mm, interesting. But considering not a lot of people already still have them in hand, right? 
Yeah. Uh, a lot of them were raffled up. I know there were only a few skate shops that did uh, that did release them. Um, there were actually crazy stories about. I think it was CSS that their. Uh, did you hear about that? Their no, no. their list got hacked, and and they were sending fake uh, winning emails. Oh, and, that, I did see that. Yeah, yeah, asking them to cash out and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it was a CCS. It was crazy. That is wow. The Johnny says five thousand by Christmas. Inch more forty one. Let's see what happens with these. But I, I can definitely see them going up. I just want to know how many people actually hit on sneakers app. I don't. I didn't even see anybody, you know, no. boasting on Twitter. All the bot guys didn't even really post much. At least that I noticed. But right. who knows? That's what I'm saying. I don't know anybody that know anybody that got them. <laughs> All right, let's go to the store stuff. Now, I know in the chat, somebody said, Johnny, talking about Ross Policy in California, dedicated shopping hours for seniors on Tuesdays, 9 to 10 a.m. Is this happening elsewhere? They did have that one here in El Paso as well. But Ross in general, though, was still opening at 8 a.m. here. They're not even following 10 a.m. rules, so I have, I have no clue what is going on. Yeah, that's that's what I heard, too. Uh, even our Ross here, uh, they were scheduled to open at 11. Um, I didn't plan on going, but I know somebody in my area. He said he was there early, and, and all of a sudden they were open. So he said he got to three Rosses before 11. Oh, man. Yeah, so whoever was, like, black <laughs> got the leftovers. And here we have uh, our boy Texas Pete. So he was in line on this one. Common fan finds North Star Hustle. Uh, 30 minutes to get in. And now he's waiting in this long line. So who knows how long that one did take. I want to see uh, what people say in the chat. So what about California opening up? How are the Rosses? Which ones did open up? What areas opened up? I do know, or at least I believe Nike may have opened today or is going to open sometime this week i believe in california so in the chat i need to hear from you my cali peeps um here we go ross shallington on his lunch break getting in line and still dominating you can go through to see his uh, finds on there hmm. and then we have uh, ross finds oregon also in line and district deals stores never opening in dc had to go elsewhere interesting oh. If, if your stores are empty, District Deals have been there. Yeah, District Deals on the prowl. eBay Joey asking, how tall are you? Look at this. Look, at he's like towering over everybody. Yeah, he's like 6'13". <laughs> this guy's <laughs> massive. So let's go see uh, what the chat says on here. Uh, let's see. Nike Outlet in Oakland opens on Sunday. Lines at Ross. El Paso East Side was long. Yeah, El Paso doesn't joke around when it comes to Ross. These guys were... All over the place. No Nike Converse has opened up for Mr. Eric. OC at least. Um, LA County Ross not open, but all the others open from Johnny. Um, Three-hour lunch break. <laughs> Ross Shallington. Uh, let's see. Going to Santa Clarita when it opens. Killing Texas Ross open at 10 a.m. Mr. Information at hand. Nothing here. LA Valley. Some malls open in LA. Most stores not open yet. Uh, let me see. Ross is completely milked. Um, <laughs> Burlington is bone dry right now, which we're going to talk about that. Right. Which Dom just says Burlington empty racks for a week. Uh, so nothing else going on. Let me see. Ross, South Carolina are empty. No lines because there's no product. Same for Marshalls and Burlington. Nike Outlet didn't have nearly as many rules as your video here. Interesting. I heard less rules too, I think, in Florida. So we'll find out more on that one. Okay, so which brings us to this. What is our overall game plan? Now, I have received emails and DMs. Some people are like, is Burlington closing? They have nothing. I go <laughs> empty racks. What is going on? And <laughs> we obviously know there's new rules for all four of right. these stores. And they're slowly opening up across the U.S. So what is going on? Personally, this is what I believe. For Ross, especially. Actually, for Ross, Burlington, Marshalls, all three of them. I believe they're getting rid of old inventory. I believe they are keeping um, the things that they know is worth. Like Ross, keeping the same prices for Air Max 98, Air Max 97. Some people found those at Ross. 
it did not go down. Right. And I believe they're keeping that kind of stuff. Everything else, get it out so that they can make more room for aisles, people to walk through, figure out the lines, and try to make the store cleaner. Um, my Marshalls, they, the whole shoe section, there was like one side completely empty. And I believe they're trying to figure out how they could make it cleaner and have customers feel safer, things like that. So... I think that's what those three stores are doing until they get more merchandise. Then you'll see Burlington. I think they already took off a lot of the half off signs in different parts of the U S so you'll see that as well. Uh, what do you think for those three stores first? Man, I, I, I think the first probably three or four days was it right after that. Um, for at least from my experience nothing really was was there anymore and and from what i've heard they weren't gonna put out anything new until the 50 percent off sale is gone mm -hmm. and and if i everybody that i've asked they didn't know when the 50 percent off was gonna <laughs> end so, nobody knows right uh, multiple location told me that they were having trucks rolling in Friday, Saturday, um, I check Monday, Tuesday, they're still not there. So maybe tomorrow afternoon, I'll go around again, try to, you know, try to wander around and accidentally go to the back room and pretend the restroom was there <laughs> <laughs> to see if they have back stock inventory. So um, that's probably the only way to find out. Uh, let's see. The chat says Marshall's restocks are on fire. That's from Zapatos and... Uh, Ice Pack, Burlington Employee says distribution center not open yet, so no new trucks. Ross Highsmith, my Marshalls employee, told me they just started ordering four trucks instead of two again, so they should be putting a lot out in the next couple of weeks. Dapper Fanatic, Ross probably not getting any trucks for another week. Um, Burlington has empties my bank account from Dom. <laughs> um, where is DVD? And let's see, where are we? And yeah, that's the thing, though. I believe Marshalls should be getting some new things coming up here and there. I think Ross and Burlington will take them a lot longer. Nike, totally different beast. I don't know what we're going to do like markdowns. What's going to happen with that? Employees told me that they are supposed to get a truck in maybe late this week, maybe next week. But even then, they don't believe it's going to be a lot of products. Yep. No markdowns yet. The same 20% off for everybody so who knows? Nike, totally different. But here's the thing with Nike, though, right? Um, they really, they really don't need a, they really don't need trucks to roll in right now because of their strict policies. True. Right? Nobody's clearing out aisles and racks at Nike. Uh, you know, let's go over the rules, right? The the my Nike open today. Five per style. 30 items total. Items. So not even shoes, just items, period. In $3,000, right? So, and uh, no breaking of rules. I've tried. <laughs> no going back circle around. Uh, I've asked. Uh, so, and it was actually very so the first Nike I went to, it wasn't weird because I was expecting that there would be less people because you know we were the first people there. The second Nike I went to waited, waited two hours in line. Two hours in line, got in, and all and the lights were barely on. It was dim. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like you could have you couldn't see people. There were only <laughs> two workers in the in the back row, you know, they had they have many people. And then it was very weird because it was like, you know, it, it sounded like very echoey, even when they had the sound on. Uh, and then it was weird. Like there was no line for checkout because there were only 20 people there at a time. So they weren't really, you know, there was no shortage of of cash register really that we've experienced. Yeah. But but just because there were only 20 people in line at the, up in the store at the time, you know, they could easily run through them quickly. So yeah. I don't think they're, they're hurting for inventory. And I think it's a, 
it's a very different strategy that they're taking maybe because they have a strong online presence that they're still making revenue through that uh that you know they're not really pushing out a lot of clearance items right now so um it'd be interesting to see if there will be markdowns within the next couple of days or weeks uh from what i've heard though it will be like this until july yeah which we kind of figured it's gonna be a couple of months to kind of rebuild even to get somewhat back to uh, where we were as far as sourcing goes rookie reseller my Nike outlet restocked but that opening sale will be gone before they restocked my store had 30 percent off which that was one of the first stores i think that opened up they had 30 instead of 20. Right. uh barry nike holding on to prices because they making more money selling online which yep. is what B said uh, let me see mr eric which is good product for everyone uh what product for everyone at the nike i'm trying to figure out what the well that is true because nobody's you know like the limits are very tight now so yeah, I yeah. buy a whole you know wrap you know josh my nike started nothing but garbage uh let me see or are we nike locations california usually get good stuff i have six nike outlets within one hour where i live mr 89 or your 89 romeo and uh, let's see green tags nike outlet please from johnny this is what nike wants direct to consumer from in vintage what do you think about that one whatever <laughs> <laughs> brandon b how how early did you get to nike how long was the line when they opened um an hour i got there an hour early uh after when they opened when i look back Oh, when, when they let everybody in, there were, uh, I think there were like five to eight people that were left that they didn't let in until people start checking out. Mm. Okay. All right. So we'll go back to this a little bit later on some of the in-store pickups that people got. So we're going to do a little half and half today, half in-store pickups, and then half of the uh, flooded finds to do the research. So we're slowly transitioning back to where we were on the Wednesday shows. Here we go. Now into eBay solds man this, uh, jordan jersey sold it for 115 i've had it forever what did you did we get this did we find it i think it, i think this was from that time mm -hmm. um because this is like the all-star that of course jordan never played in like right. he never wore this jersey and it just took forever to get like <laughs> views and even i don't even get low ball offers on these like nothing no nothing on this listing so finally Something came in, made like 60 bucks. I was happy with that. For some reason, I think in general, these all-star jerseys didn't do that great. I remember, what was one of them that kind of sat for a while? I think it was like a Steph Curry one. I don't remember. KD's, right? KD's. Yeah, it might have been a KD one too. Even the Kobe's one at the time. Even the Kobe at this, yeah, before when we got them, the Kobe were harder to move too. Yeah, very true. Uh, like in three legs, thank you, Last Dance. <laughs> Next one, this one, not that great on the profits. I mean, we made almost 25 bucks, but this shoe just did not move. This did not move, period. Um, Man, you, got, you, got, you got scammed because of Hustler Hacks Colorway. That's why. <laughs> Probably. Also, because it's like a big women's shoe, but hmm. I, thought I, I thought I paid less than 65 for it because I thought it was going to be extreme size, unless I got that wrong, but mm -hmm. I was like, 65? I was like, hmm. Seems a little high, but uh, shipping 11.79 PayPal, and then of course, no eBay fee. So, got this on Nike Outlet and our ROI at 38%. <laughs> yeah, where is it? Where is the Jake one on there? Trash ten dollar profits. <laughs> and, <laughs> now, this one extremely well. Uh, oh, yeah, Air Max 97 got this one at Ross and uh, sold for 200. Man, Tax came I, like, I, I like that pricing right there. <laughs> I like this. No low ballers. Uh, shipping nine twenty five. We made uh, one hundred and thirteen dollars and eighty cents. PayPal fee, of course, high because they were including tax, and uh, that was it. I guess. Yeah, this, was, this is a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> that was a comeback from the last ninety seven that <laughs> <laughs> that didn't want that one. Uh, let's see. I miss old Glenn. I wanted a forty percent. People, people always say, "Why did you want forty percent?" I always said forty percent was my low end. I said it like in every video, and then I found out that on eBay, I think uh, eBay Joey interviewed everybody, and everyone's like, 
oh yeah, I learned from Hustler Hacks, but he only wants 40%. I want more. I'm like, dude, I never said I wanted 40% as my highest. Like, that doesn't make no sense. Why would you cap yourself? I, <laughs> right? You want to cap your ROI? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, next one. Uh, these were the, the, I think these are starting to get into some of those Burlington finds. Um, for those like uh, golf shoes. And so they were half off. So then we paid what, like 15? So 15, yeah. 15 sold for 60. Yeah, some were 29, some were 20, some were 27. Oh, okay. I guess yeah, different so, prices on that yeah, one. Yeah, different pricing. Didn't you, you sold some for like uh, 50 plus shipping or something like that? 59 plus shipping. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it was, uh, is my lowest for, for golf shoes that oh, I got okay. for, for from Burlington. Uh, and then the Tiger Woods, I, I have pricing on like 69 plus shipping. Oh, okay. Uh, so that one's part of that with the uh, Burlington fines, at least with the half off fines, which I know Relentless Resale told me that he picked up like 20 of these and then he stopped because he said there was too many of them. I would, but would you I, would have picked up more of these? Oh, yeah. I was, <laughs> I mean, that was the only thing I was looking for. I mean, I wasn't really trying to find home runs. You know, if the home run was there, cool. But I was double checking everything because. This kind of golf shoes are the ones that are hard to find because they look like just regular leather shoes, you know, like dress shoes. Yeah. So I would, I would, just because it's fifty percent off, ten bucks, you know, like it's like us buying t-shirts at Nike, right? And yeah. you know the the potential of golf shoes, we know it, we already know it. Yeah. Um, let me see. The first question, Norel says, if your wife or friend comes with you to Nike, can they get thirty uh, thirty pairs too? Yeah, uh, it's, yes, per person. it's per um, person. Yeah, as and long our outlet out. we can go back in line, but B said he can't. <laughs> yeah, Glenn's outlet. This <laughs> outlet don't make sense. <laughs> yeah, not each Nike has their own rules, which I don't know. Uh, let me see. Those moving very well. Sneaker finds twelve. Um, I don't know how well they're moving. Pretty Again, well. I think I have. I, don't, I didn't find too many, so I really don't know. Uh, let me see. I've been building a bundling lower end cleats and shoes, same size over 100 to avoid fees. Try it, it works from Chris. There we go. Yep. We, uh, just, don't, let me we just don't buy lower end cleats. Let me see. Where are we? Oh, man. Um, Losa has a scar from all those untouchables, Mr. <laughs> Eric. Uh, Chris, if B charges shipping, why don't you? I found success with, uh, with the free shipping. It's totally your call. I mean, it's yeah. not. It's not guarantee you're gonna sell with or without the shipping. Yeah, right? it's it's very weird. Uh, um, what 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 I found is it's just a balance of you know mixture of different things. I I was I was uh you know learning from Glenn. I did free shipping a bunch of times, um, and then the time that I only switched was when we we started doing the free returns. So uh, that was the only thing I've expert uh. Uh, I've kind of like changed my game plans on things that are under a hundred bucks uh, because I was going to pay fees anyway. So it was just a uh, weird, and I, I, I still do free shipping, but it's, I use free shipping as a competitive advantage. If I have it, I'll, ch if there's no other competition, I'll charge shipping. But if there is a competition, I would give free shipping to have the be best match and all the good, you know, rankings. Well, done best match. Well, of course, you get stuff like free returns or free yeah. shipping or what is it called? Uh, the other little thing in here with the top seller and all top that stuff. Seller, yeah, top rated. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see. Next one. This uh, Zoom Fly gravity thing. Here's a bad thing. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> you got them at like, Burlington too. Yeah. So this one was half, uh, half off. So we paid twenty bucks for them. And I did take a best offer at sixty-seven because I, I was like, I don't know about this shoe, and I know that I know Rastel has them too. And then I had another pair, which that one sold for 80 And then I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> Should I have just taken this one or just waited it out? But it this doesn't might matter. be a rare pair. <laughs> yeah, because it's already I gone. mean, it's a clean-looking shoe. Uh, they're all over the place, the black and silver, right, uh, the outlets. No, the outlets have a crap load of these. Um, I think well, because – the red, though. No, not the red one. But, but the red one were sitting at Burlington, and they're still sitting at Ross right now. Mm. Um, cause, uh, Ross, I think it came across like three or four pairs and I think they have them at 45 bucks, I believe. Yeah. Red um, bear only guys. Let me see. Yeah. Not the black bear. 
The black bear have every outlet has them uh, for thirty nine ninety nine. The white and blue one. Well, yeah, that I've one's there white, too. But <laughs> I've seen the white and blue one as well. Yeah, that one's that one's out there. Uh, it's East DVD. There he is. I don't know where he was. All right. Now we're getting into weekend releases, and there's not too many coming out, but of course, probably just two uh, hits you really want to get. But and even wow. the other one. I mean, <laughs> uh, Reebok question low patent toe pack. So with the Iversons out here, and price one twenty comes out Monday. June first. Uh, anybody down for some Iverson? So let me see. Trash and cop from Johnny. Yeah. Beast is trash. Yeah, Jake will. Jake, uh, classic Dookie pass, and so it's kind of like a blue, and then we have an orange. But I mean, maybe it's closer to like OG colorway, but I've like blue, white, red. I don't know. Maybe. But <laughs> let me see. Stevie D back to work. Oh man. Let's see, Hustle Crow, nope. The answer is no. Me, Jake, and Stevie D still kicking sports. And pass and you. All right, next one. Nike Red and Blue Pack. Also comes out on Monday. So we get a, what, outfitted two retro basketball turned lifestyle silhouettes. And we get a blazer mid and a rarely seen Sky Force that have been outfitted with white leather uppers, mismatch red and blue snakeskin swooshes. <laughs> any any I, comment on this? I think they're riding the Dior wave now. <laughs> right? Like, um, wasn't there like an uh, Air Force one that dropped with that uh, uh, snakeskin swoosh too? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, they're just I, pushing it. I think it. sometimes I question them. <laughs> I mean, they're Probably pushing like, uh, leftover material. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Who buys this, man? That's this from. Exactly. <laughs> Let's see. Chuck says need. Uh, those are going straight to Dee Dee's Mercurial Venom. <laughs> yeah, uh, where, where they die. Nobody goes <laughs> there. A smooth sailing, simple shoe that's wearable. Pass. And nope. And I think I think Nike's kind of bringing back the skater vibe, with yeah. a dunk, you know with a dunk SB dunk popping again. Um, they're bringing this like a I would you know I would see this with a guy with ripped uh, skinny jeans. <laughs> Blazers are a classic from Dom. Next one, Air Trainer Three Viotech. Man, that uh, doesn't scream Viotech at all. <laughs> One thirty. And also on Monday, so Retroing, Viotech, Air Trainer 3, kickoff in June, popular colorway of the Bo Jackson endorsed trainer, returns for the first time since 2002 release. Yep. See, I like these. This is going to Marshall at like $59.99. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Hell no, thumbs yeah. down, my eyes, cop, I rock them. <laughs> this is that shoe when you see the box, I'm like, oh. <gasps> Red box. Kind of weird. Uh, that's a shoe. People passing that at Goodwill. No. It looks like Victor Cruz from Patrick. Yeah, so this one, 130. And yeah, we know well this is not gonna sell out or anything, but look out, Marshall's coming soon. Okay, Jordan 13 Flint Man, comes up Saturday. Yeah, they misspelled Saturday, but either way, comes out and one ninety, and May thirtieth. So, man, I mean, I'm getting, my, I'm getting my pair delivered tomorrow. Oh, there we go. And I think so. Let's talk about resale value first off. And I believe it's gonna be, you know, restocked just like what the fives, <laughs> DMPs. But uh, for collection wise, I think you need one. Has a three M. Awesome. I I, I think this is that one GR this year that's not gonna that's gonna you know do well. Meaning yeah. meaning it will hover around a little over you know two fifty, two seventy five. Yeah, let's I see. I think this is that one blue Jordan, the non you know, Chicago colorway that, that everybody for some reason like is very attached to. 
Well, I think it also helped on Last Dance that it kind of focused on that year of him wearing the 13s. Mm-hmm. So it kind of helped a little bit with that, even though he didn't have this colorway, at least on right. the on the footage. Right. But they might help a little bit. Let me see. Cop. Let me see. Fire. Cop. Heat. Um, how long before the price drop on the 13? Um, I, and, you know, they, they will go down from where they're at right now. Mm-hmm. But let's see how many of them are out there. But it's a GR, so there's going to be a lot of them. Got a pair in my hand already, Stevie D. See, collection, maybe caught Flint, seven pairs already. Uh, 100% real vibes. Already cop two, copping a ton on Saturday, Mercurial Venom. Uh, Rico Smooth got some 95s. I did see that in the DMs. Um, but StockX value would not be the same because uh, you're looking at a Ross pickup would be without box. So if you had with complete box, I, you can list high and see what kind of bids come in. Um, in this case, no box. You can still sell them on Goat and eBay. Uh, Texas Pete, the 3M. Yes, sir. Yeah, the 3M was loud. It was loud in this one. Yeah. And let me see. Go back on here. Uh, getting a pair to match my OG pair, Ross Shallington. Oh. Smooth selling, classic shoe. Must cop many pairs as possible. All right, but we're not done yet. No. <laughs> well, how do you feel about these? Tell them. Toilet water. <laughs> Travis that. Scott, Air Max 27D, ENG, E-N-G. Cactus E-N-G. Trails. What's ENG? Uh, that's a good question. Let me see what the, let me see what the chat says right now. Ass, uh, barf, trash. They all right. Gross. Dude, this is that. This is that one time. I mean, like, Nike's so funny. As soon as like one thing gets you know hyped so much, they just make the, they just make the trashiest, ugliest shoe with the ugliest colorway, and then they just probably laugh behind like, watch the hype. They're probably just looking <laughs> back like, watch the hype, you know. And then this is like, it's like that. That poop on top, not cherry on top. Is that poop on top of that Sunday that everybody's like, they just laugh and then they just go bonkers. <laughs> yeah, just go back, sit back, relax and see. You. So right now, before, I guess pre-release, if you wanted to pick one up. Right now, size 11 or it's at 695 on StockX. Mm-hmm. Size 9, 681. So. Yeah. Dude, uh, I, would, I would be so surprised if this goes over a Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows. Yeah, I would, I would too. I mean, they shouldn't, but who knows what? <laughs> yeah, next thing you know, you know, it's it's limited produced. You know, <laughs> so one seventy come out on Friday. Uh, good luck to everybody. That obviously you're gonna, gonna make some good money on these. I don't know if you want them for the collection or not. Totally up to you. Glenn, if uh, you get this for retail, would you rock it? No, I'm not gonna rock these. You're selling. <laughs> you gotta sell these. Um, let me see. Wow, they dropped a lot high, 1K to 600-ish. So let's see when they do come out, how many pairs are out there and see. Hey, what if I get out. this, I'm going to get I'm get my Travis Scott one lows back. Oh, see? That? I like that game plan. All right. All right. Well, now, or you could get your sixes. Travis Scott sixes. Very true. All right. I like that game plan. Whoa, let's see store seen. pickups. And let's see. Lace connection with a bunch of kids foamies. Nerf. And they were selling well. So this is this is a nice pickup right here. I believe they were still 39 the regular price we know and love. Uh, for those, uh, Hustle Don't Stop. Got some Kobe's in here. Uh, deal finds. We got, look, check out the Jordan 11 cleats. We're still there somehow. Tiger Woods picked those up. Even some of the materials are in there. Um, Young Hustler finds. It looks like a little mix. Burlington finds golf and tailwinds and other random stuff in here. So kind of crazy. I mean, this is so these are uh, in-store action, in-store pickups from uh, the last couple of days. Price Assassins with some Adidas in here. Also got some golf. We got some baseball cleats. Ross Shallington went all in on the baseball cleats, and they were six ninety nine and two ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ross finds Oregon more golf. Also got the Under Armour golf and baseball, and then Econ <laughs> Lifestyle bought out a whole Ross. Seems like and, every uh, Ross clearance the sports specific items. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Ross did not do like fifty percent off like Burlington did. They were picky, 
And they were like, hey, baseball cleats, maybe some soccer cleats, for sure the golf are all on sale. Yeah, they crazy marked down the sports-specific items and then held on the the athletic. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, so I also got some of the uh, bags and backpacks. Looks like a hyper dunk. I also got the pennies in here. And I'm trying to see what else is here. We got baseball and more baseball in here. So that one. And then Ross finds Oregon showing a photo of the huge Kobe's, how one of them got marked down to $10 and the other one stayed the same at 55. Don't know how that happened. Uh, the rifting wizard with the 95s down to. Wow. Four wow. That's the first. <laughs> yeah. Down to five bucks. A Jedi hustler with the shocks and also the Puma cleats marked down. And then Dapper Fanatic also got the LeBrons and a size 7Y. I don't know if they were on sale or not, but either way, I didn't see any even, right, still good. Yeah, 40 bucks. I didn't see any LeBrons at mine. Would you buy those $10 Kobe's? Um, I did see some $10 Kobe's, but the bigger sizes, I did leave some behind. Actually, they were still there when I went yesterday, so. Okay. I think size 17 and 18 and plus, I think they were still there. We also had a size 20 Hyper Dunk that was there for $3. It was like a Hyper Dunk Low Yellow. <laughs> size 20. <laughs> Maybe uh, Dwight Howard many one. <laughs> and it was, all, it was pretty dirty, too. I mean, they've been kicked around the store for so long. Uh, next one, Hustle Crow. Got a bunch of the oh. I think, hoodies from Burlington. Carolina Kicks. Nice little shout-out. Six bags of the Butterfinger oh. Popcorn. Fire. That's the best cop ever like <laughs> me me and glenn travel a lot and we've never seen them this much like that's why when i found them i bought four bags like this this beats the best uh fine six bags <laughs> yeah so carolina kicks knows what's up uh super six four uh did well golf and also the air max plus for kids which we know those did well i think they're men's but they're super small but good on that one and Weston flips with the Vapor Max at seventy dollars from Marshalls. Uh, let me go back on um, here. I see Resolution Hustler sold a size eighteen Kobe. Got a return because it was too big. What size you need, bro? Seventeen and a half. <laughs> 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 like, very good point. Um, Clemson clothes a dollar to three dollars each. Super steal on that one, Hustle Crow. Let me go back on here. Uh, let me see. Be mouth start water after seeing all that popcorn. Yes, sir. If you can't find anything, screw it. Just bag of popcorn. <laughs> uh, this is a special bag of popcorn, though. Oh, butter. Trust me. Trust me. Finger licking good. <laughs> Let's see. Noco flips, and we got golf, golf. I think a lot of people have been finding the golf out there, of course, which you should definitely still be picking those up. Uh, the Under Armour one's doing pretty well. We got the baseball, more baseball in here, more golf. We got the Roche in here. Uh, Rock Brocane got, let's see, Zoom and some of the golf and baseball. Too legit to flip. Uh, I haven't seen this shoe in a while. And of course, they weren't on sale, but still, I definitely pick those up. In order to start hustle with the Under Armour Golf at 12. And more. Look at Clawsy Kicks out here. Look at these Kobe's. I mean, what the <laughs> world? I know. Well, how much were they? Uh, 60 or 54? I think they're 54, but this is insane. And, of course, they got some golf. I mean, why I, not? I'd pay 100 bucks for that one. Yeah, classy kicks. Uh, great pickups there. And then wow. we have Arizona Finds. We got Air Money. We got the Golf. And we have the Pharrell's. It's kind of funny, though. I did see this Pharrell's at my Ross. Regular price. <laughs> like, we're not even marked down nothing. Zapatos out here dominating with foam posits, complete with box, Marshall's finds, Already. and uh, flipping them. And then Sin City Hustle with the 95s, and they were $65, size eight and a half. Photo blue. Uh, let me go back on here. And let me see. I found the Butterfinger Popcorn 2, 8 on the drive home. <laughs> Hustle Crow. <laughs> see, Plato's Closet is dry too. Um, and that was it. So. Thanks, We're Tom. slowly getting in to ENG in-store finds. Engineered mesh. What was that? ENG. Oh, okay. Engineered mesh. Engineered mesh from Armand. So very nice. 
Let me see. I'll go back on here. Selling your own site too. Try to avoid all of them selling on crazy uh, platform problems. Smooth sailing. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, yeah. Keep tagging me in all the finds. It looks like for the most part we have more golf more than anything uh, when it comes to Ross. But some of these deals out here um, definitely want to pick those up too. Of course, Kobe's, and hopefully we can see some more Marshalls finds like Zapatos out here dominating. Where are they now, Flood Editions? We're only doing five today since we had a little half and half in-store pickups and the Flood Edition. So we'll go through some of these. First one, uh, District Deals, Don Alpha Cleat. And maybe they were the only two to really find these. I don't remember seeing these at all. Uh, yeah. Vapor Match plus Creamsicle. I've seen it, I think, twice on Burlington opening, and that's pretty much it. And that was over and done with. So let's see, 49. I don't know if there were 59 at Burlington. Maybe they were 49, 59, around that range. July 2019, and found at both stores, Burlington and Ross. Anybody find any of these in the chat? <laughs> Those are people from DMV. <laughs> yeah, very true. That's probably the only one where they sent them to. That's the absolute cash DVD. I'd buy every pair if I saw them. Sneaker finds 12. Next one, Kicks for Flips, Nike Air Edge 270. You remember these? Trash. <laughs> but interesting, I think some were still left over uh, from the half-off Burlington sale. So they would be at $30. But this is October 2019. And it wouldn't surprise me if they were still lingering around until now. <laughs> so here's a question. Would you pick up for 30 if they were half-off? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Those are everywhere, still kicking sports. Yeah, at, th at this point, you know, when you talk about when they're 50% off, that means it was just right after pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> People's carts overflowing. <laughs> Any Nike swoosh they find, put them in the cart. <laughs> yeah, put with the cart. Those are absolute garbage looking. Seeker finds 12. Uh, speaking of garbage, I just want to know who picked them up. Oh. <laughs> March 2019. Hey, I know some people did because they I got them in the DMs that they picked some of these up and what I how what I felt about them. Now we do know Burlington had so many of these. Uh maybe some sold, maybe some didn't. $30. Puma Kuji sweater sneakers. Oh. Stop. Um <laughs> Stevie D. So no. bad. They look like vomit from Dom. <laughs> All right. I mean, we'll see when I go through the completed listings and you see them at 100 plus. But you oh, can say Maximo. what you want. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Maximo. Oh, Maximo. Did he sell them? We thought you knew better, you Kobe fan. <laughs> <laughs> Maximo. And he's probably like, yeah, and I did. And I sold them for 150 <laughs> Last one. Oh no, we had two more. Activate hustle mode. Oh. Vandal 2K platform. Money. Uh, TJ Max, forty dollars. So you're saying money in the platforms. Hundred percent. Floral. At forty. Platform. Yeah. At forty. Yeah. Let me see. Ugly. Nope. Dana said sold the Puma Kuti slides. Very oh. nice. Um, all day one fifty easy Stevie D. Wow. Uh, let me see. One, two, three. I got like four pairs on here. Happy Camper sold for one thirty-five. Uh, picked up the slides. Did sell them. Baker Brand. Let me see. Copped. Saw these in past. Extra grands. So we'll look at these and see. Easy flip for those from Rookie Reseller. And Dom says the same. All right. Now our last one. Soles and Stitches. Don Alpha Cleat. Now remember these at Ross. Um, at one point, I think even Soles and Stitches put this in the... Uh, in his little comment saying how there's a flood on this shoe. And at one point, there were so many of these out there. I wonder how they're doing now. July 2019, and they were $60 at the time, found at Ross. Did it, did anybody really pass on this? I believe so. I believe there were some some passes. Did you? Um, I did pick up, I think, three. And then I actually did pass on them at the very end. There was a lot of them. Um, so I did new bidder. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me go back up to the let's see what the chat says. DVD says left them. Uh, shoot to kill pass on the Air Maxes. Patrick says flood. Texas Pete definitely 
Uh, DFW sent DM. I remember you picking these up. Yes, I did pick up some of these. Never saw them. Um, I took what I could find from Chuck. Found one pair. Sold them already. And a couple of months back, Ross flooded with Ultra Boost Parleys and Teal Vipper Max 2019. So maybe we can look at those next one. Maximal says yes, did pass on these. So interesting. We're going to look at the listings and see how they're doing now. But remember, we're almost like a whole year after. So I wonder what they're what they're looking like. So let me bring this up. Get this one out of the way. Share screen. We'll look at some listings on here. And... All right, so here's our first one, style code only, and oh. nothing. Sold. Um, <laughs> let's go to sold and see what's going on with this. Uh, style code only one. Oh, 200. Too Probably too long. <laughs> so one with style code. I mean, should we try going with the name? Yeah, Crimsicle, yeah. Vapor Max Crimsicle. All right, let's but, see yeah. what's going on with this one. Uh, three did uh, did show up. Benefits yeah. charity. I think that one's a pre-owned one. Let's right, see, right. one ninety nine, and I don't know what happened here. Ninety nine best offer. Let's see if any of them are currently listed. Uh, one, damn, one at eleven hundred, <laughs> almost twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> this is either you or district deals. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Your fitness needs. That might be Carlos. <laughs> Your fitness needs. That's what I'm talking about. No low ballers. Twelve hundred. Yeah. Hey, it's only sixty-seven dollars a month for twenty-four months. <laughs> for twenty-four months. <laughs> I like this. No low ballers. Man, let me see. I'm gonna go cop from shoot to kill. Uh, let's see. Level out. What a deal. District deals pricing. It was fifteen hundred though from Logan. <laughs> That's very true. You get twenty percent off. Uh, let's see who listed that. Epic I went to DD's today. It was a mistake from Taket. <laughs> oh man, controlling the market. Sneaker finds twelve. So only one currently listed, and it's at uh, yeah twelve hundred. So interesting. I want to see. You know what? We should go on here and see. What is going oh, on with, with StockX and see? Oh man, what the heck? Oh, it took forever to load. What's the deal with StockX? Oh, there you go. A Vapor Max. You know what? We have the style code on here. Let's go back. Complete with box. How well are they doing? Let's see. Copy paste. Oh, listed it there too. Oh, <laughs> six months. <laughs> So right now, four fifty. What is oh, that's wild. What size is that four fifty, Glenn? We'll look for them. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, you want to see the bids? Four fifty for that six, and the rest of them, the bids are at two hundred something, almost three hundred. Man, I'm. I'll put an ad up on my Facebook. And there's only one listed at six hundred for uh, six women. Text Check sold uh, sales uh, history. Uh, let me see. All sales. We have April 29th, 206, wow. April 17th, 375. It's, yeah. not, it's not even consistent. Whoever sold that $110, the dude bought it for $110 and flipped it back for $375. <laughs> That's what it is. The next month. Yeah, Smart. Like, it took a month to ship it to him. And yeah, then that is. Back. That's what it is. That dude's smart. Yeah, that is awesome. Right. That was it. Nothing else. So <laughs> totally. that was StockX to StockX flip. Yeah, wild. All right, let's go into the next one. Let's see if this thing is going on here. It's probably this crappy browser. I don't think it's eBay. And now it's like freezing. So... <laughs> Next one, now all of them. All right, you know what? We'll go to the next one. Puma Kuji oh. shoes. How much were they? 34? They were, let me go back to this. They were 29. Oh. <laughs> so, what are the results for Kuji shoes? Is this all the same? Yeah. Man, look at that one. Yeah. 
Just get a bundle. That one still has a Burlington tag. Yeah, they it. probably listen to your podcast, Glenn, interview with 30% profit max. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. We got the Burlington tag. Are they at least took off the price. Oh, they deleted the price. They edited the price. Yeah, they took off the price, so I can respect that. Um, so you couldn't give those to me for free to flip. Yeah, these um, are the 100, the 100 people that that has a very uh, that's very prideful. That's pride. That's too proud to return. <laughs> <laughs> Bundle it with the jersey yeah. or tank top. C sixty ninety nine. All right, how many do you think sold? Let's get real here. Twenty. Twenty. Thirty-five. Uh, yeah, at nineteen ninety-nine. <laughs> well, now we want to bid. Uh, there we go. Sixty, sixty-five. There's a the slides. Forty-four bucks. Forty-nine. Uh, fifty-nine, sixty-four. Oh, look at that combo, dude! I can't lie though. I think I picked up those jackets. Oh, those you jackets. picked up the jacket. Uh, Marshall yeah, combo one hundred and fifty. Well, look at look at the uh, look at the title though. Authentic combo collaboration. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's what sold it, man. That's what sold it. The title. Yeah, that's what got it right there. Very nice. All right. Well, we're done with that one. Let's go back yeah, here. Buying this, <laughs> people got the stimulus check. That's why. Stat jackets are sold for a bunch for one hundred plus DVD. I'm telling you. <laughs> the jackets were worth more than the shoes. Yeah. Is that what you're saying. Yeah. All right, let's look at the Edge 270. Now, style code only 51 results, and we have 85, 75, size 15, uh, size 12 at 94. See? 100. Off. This would sell. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Especially getting it for, what, 30 bucks? 30 bucks. Okay, there's uh, Hustle B at 160. <laughs> That's you, your background. <laughs> New background. <laughs> <laughs> District deals, speaking of. District deals, he's here. Yeah, he's we probably talked a, about him like two or three times. Probably, right now. probably in a different time zone. That's what it is. Yeah, I got thrown off a little bit. He's out there sourcing. Yeah, yeah he's out there sourcing, probably in a central or uh, mountain standard time. <laughs> mountain. All right, how many things sold of the 270? 25. All right, so you're saying about half. Yeah. Uh, 31. Very uh, close. $90, 83 another one at 90 83 59 uh, yeah. Hey, somebody, uh, Dominic, put a good point. Put a backward swoosh. That's Travis Scott. <laughs> that that might is, as well. Dude, this, is my, this might be the inspiration. It Travis Scott talking to Bryant and I'm like, yo, I want this kind of shoe. And <laughs> they, made, they made the 270s. Yep, that same parachute bubble beige colorway. Right. So there we go. I think now definitely less than look at that was uh, sold for a hundred ninety two and a hundred. So yeah, I think getting them half yeah. off definitely worth it. Yeah, I definitely sell this for a hundred easily. Easily. Next one. Let's go to the platform vandals. Oh, and our boy! Look at that. One thirty nine. Our boy. Let me see. It is him. Man, impacting the game at. How Wait, many how have did it go down? Now it's 111. What? And <laughs> saving 20%. Even better. <laughs> even better. Man, eBay glitched right there. Yeah, eBay, eBay glitched for everybody for the live show. 85, 94, 129, 100, oh, 128. That's the, that's the worst way to take a photo of it. Stack them side by side. Look at that. With a spot on the soul. Like it looks, <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. 149. Nice little photo right there. Yeah. See a little floral. DFW. DFW at 125. All right. How many things sold? How many there? I'd say There's 40 results. 35. 35. Dang, 35. Let's see. Um sold 29. Oh, see? Easily. So look at that. The first six, only one of them was below 100. Everybody else, 100, 124, 129, 129, 129. Yeah, that, that one, well, probably only the right pair. Oh, <laughs> that got a lot of them. See that? Which one? Is this it? dude got a lot of them, that guy. Yeah, but, 99, 99. Let's see. 99, 27. Do we just want to pay the fees? <laughs> 
See, sixty-five, fifty-nine. Yeah. Could have sourced some of these fifty. Yeah, yeah. I do just want to pay the fees. <laughs> one twenty-nine, one twenty-four. So very nice on the Vandal. Ninety-nine. <laughs> shoot. Ninety-nine. Wow. Sticker finds twelve. Look like emo clown shoes. First sale was mine, Patrick. Very nice. Happy nice. camper. Mine's the first one. So happy camper, Patrick. Same listing. Somebody's the first one on here. All right, here's <laughs> our last one. 101 of the wow. Air Max it Blood. Is it is slud. <laughs> well, this was back in, what, we said July? July well, 2019. I want this shoe, though, honestly, if anybody's trying to, if because it's flood, so y'all could just sell it to me for 60 bucks. I think back in July 2019, they could have. Size 9. I need a size nine. Hit at this up. point, you just wait it out. Look at that. 121, 109, 31 watchers. 129, 104, 109. Hey, nobody's less than 100. Never mind. 99. 99. <laughs> <laughs> Dude didn't get the memo. <laughs> yeah. Just, just Dude, you, hey, hey, for good karma, what we should, what we should do is, uh, is like copy paste the eBay news about selling over 100. Mm. We'll there message. You Hey, price this for hundred. You'll save in fees. <laughs> Ninety-five. You can tell him too. Five dollars off. So five dollars more. Get that up. Get to hundred. <laughs> that, that linen watchers. Probably the watchers are be like, bro. I'm not buying this until it's hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> one twenty-nine. Here's another one at ninety. Looks like my size eleven. Twenty dollars. Oh yeah, twenty dollars shipping. One forty-nine. Uh, 169, 159. Look at that photo. No. Ooh, Air Max Plus. That is cool. All right. How many do you think sold? 101 right now. 60. B says 60 sold. Got that stimulus money right there. Oh, Bam. Almost 58. Bam. <laughs> Ended recently. 104, 126. Check out the lowest, though. You want to see lowest. So let's see. Lowest. Uh, on, oh, that's pre-owned. Never mind. Eighty-nine. Oh. Yeah, Size even eBay sell, if even even eBay selling you, it's trending for a hundred, and the dude still sold it for eighty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> one hundred, one hundred. This was back in February, so February, March fifteenth, one hundred. March twentieth, one hundred. Yeah, this was a uh, a pre-stimulus money. Yeah, this was totally different time, but they were sixty dollars at the time. Think about it almost a year later. Which is <laughs> You're wild. Still barely, barely doubling your money. Man, that is wild. Well, not even at a hundred, you're not even but but but, yet, but but it's a quality shoe. This it one, is a quality I, shoe. I wouldn't mind holding on to 20 pairs of this. Oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me get this out of here. And share screen. Share screen. And here we go. So, yes, there is a giveaway today. And all you got to do, we get $30 straight to your PayPal. And hopefully you were taking notes because at the very beginning, we talked about the donkeys, and I want to know the style code. So the first one to tell me the style code, you win $30. All you got to do, type that in. Baker Brand 190 watching 49 likes smash that like button yes sir put in your style code to win and then hit that like button <laughs> this guy <laughs> um, <laughs> all right let's see everyone looking it up let's see who gets it right first <laughs> dude everybody had the same idea as me <laughs> <laughs> oh man let's see did i have i thought i had the answer on here Mr. BJ, <laughs> 69's out here. Uh, <laughs> Everyone do is copying me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and our correct answer to Ket, which are our first one, he did get it right with the uh, CU3244-100. Hey, you didn't even guess Audi. <laughs> <laughs> Audi. Yeah, he typed in Audi first, then went straight to style code. Boy, it was quick. Man, <laughs> all right, whoops, and laugh out loud, Armand, everyone copying B. 
<laughs> this guy trying to troll everybody. Um, yeah, <laughs> I used to do that in school. I would purposely <laughs> put the wrong answer and make people copy it and then change it before I pass it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> All right, Rosh, I didn't laugh out loud, Dom. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, so. yeah, I did win the last time, though. <laughs> <laughs> so congrats to Kate. You get your uh, 30 bucks, and we'll uh, send that over. All I need is your PayPal. All right, anything you want to say before we go? I mean, that was a full hour, and went by pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, I guess everybody just be happy. Everybody's like, look, like saying it like I'm, I'm pumped or everything like that. I just had a double shot espresso, that's why. Oh, this guy's yeah. hyped. I, I had to come nap, and my Nike's open. You know, I can't complain. You know, I could whine two hours in line, but hey, you know, that's a part of our, our hustle. So if, if falling in line was the hardest thing, I think we're doing fine. Very true. Hit that like button, everyone that's still here. For sure, bro. Like, there's only 54. I know what happened here? Watching here. Come on, guys. Let's just show some support for this guy. I mean, if you didn't watch, if you didn't watch the movie that Glenn made, man, that's what I said. His, his Rust videos are just getting fire, man. <laughs> well, I go back up on here and said, "Happy camper." What happened to Hustle Hogs? So. I'm trying to see if I can bring back Hustler Hogs for June. May was just a wash. I mean, we had yeah, stores yeah, barely yeah. opening. Uh, we didn't really, I mean, we got some tags, but it was kind of like a little half and half. So that's why we're still kind of doing the uh, flooded stuff. But if stores are opening up, things look good, then I can bring it back for June. If we're still a little here and there, then we might have to do July. 2020 in general, whack. We had, I mean, we had, we had plans. plans for our household. We had plans to do Hustler Hogs. Like, in the very beginning, we talked about it. Everyone was super hyped for it. And then everything just went to trash. So, Bro, like, like with the quarantine going on, everybody's a Hustler Hog now. <laughs> everybody's a hog stuck at home. Everybody's a hog. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. There were two dislikes before the stream started. <laughs> yeah, those were the haters that stopped by. <laughs> <laughs> they stopped by and then they left. Let me see, Dapper Fanatic, I'm one out of three. Yes, sir. Let me go back. Great show as always. Appreciate that. Swoop man. And let me see, I'm hustling to fight this coronavirus. Happy camper. Can we get Glenn's 999K viewed Ross Air Max video to a million, Fast Eddie? I would appreciate that. So I do oh, have bro, one video. Bro, yeah, it bro, needs to get to a million. Yeah, send it out. Like, send out the link, and then we'll share it. That'll yeah, be let me see. Where is that video? That would be your. Will that be your first million view? Yeah, first million view video. Let me see yeah, if I get a story so everybody could could copy the link or post it here, Glenn. Yeah, let me post it here, and you can uh, you can watch it every day. Yeah. <laughs> watch it. Every you can put day. it on repeat every day until yeah, we get to views, right? <laughs> more views. Okay, here we go. I put the link. Click All on right. that bad boy. And this is a Ross video, 997,980. Well, I can't even see how many, I can't even talk right now. Uh, 997,000 views. So we're almost there. Nice. This came out October 4th, 2019. <laughs> All right. So you can watch that one and replay it over Lots and over again. Locker shipping taking forever. Um, yeah. Just be patient. And the crazy part is, like I've ordered ten pairs of one shoe, and they came from different stores. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was the most whack part. So I have so many extra boxes. The interesting thing though is with Nike taking a long to ship out. I wonder what's gonna happen to the chunky donkeys. Like, oh, I mean, it would well, suck if people get them like a month from now, and then you well, see the price I, drop. My my royal toast is coming tomorrow. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Man. All right. Wear the hazmat suit in the Ross store. Happy camper. Rocket the kicks. Appreciate that. And uh, Neezy, thanks for stopping by. Anything else before we go? Anything you want to throw out there in the chat? Anything you want to talk about before we go? And yes, yeah, some stores opening up. Like we said before, even though stores are opening up in your area, some people are going, some people are not. Totally up to you. And we're going to see what happens. Of course, the virus is not over just because stores are opening. 
And um, I saw that California, I think, had like 3,000 new cases yesterday, even though they're still, you know, like closed down technically. But looking at the numbers in general, they're all over the place. I have no clue. Even the Which Texas right. ones, I'm like, there's no, there's no way that's right. Um, so who knows? But definitely, uh, you know, go out there, cautious if you are sourcing. Look at your surroundings. Don't have people coughing. One lady was coughing hard at Burlington. <laughs> hard. Like, I was like, that was a strategy. For the blog that was part or, of the strategy, man. Yeah. <laughs> Cough till no one's around you and you can source all you want. Yeah. Yeah. So be careful out there. And we're we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys next Wednesday for the live show. But Friday, my Ross in store action, Ross round two. So you'll see that video on Friday. So all right, we'll see you guys. Go out and get it.